Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Welcome to Alice Biology In the previous video we have already discussed about the cellular organization which include unicellular organization, colonial organization and multicellular organization So in this video we will talk about the multicellular organization which includes the two examples mustard plant and frog animal So first discussing about the mustard plant and its, uh, its scientific name is Brassica campestris and the plant body which is made up of organs only there are no organ systems so these organs they are classified into two main groups vegetative organs and reproductive organs so vegetative organs roots, stem, branches and leaves these are the vegetative organs so what are vegetative organs those organs which are not involved in sexual reproduction we can see this that the root, stem, branches and leaves they will not produce any type of gametes so that's why they are not involved in the sexual reproduction okay then the other are reproductive uh, organs so reproductive organs the example of the uh, reproductive organs are flowers so these flowers they are involved in the sexual reproduction and produce fruits and seeds because they will uh, produce the gametes the sperms and the eggs and later on they will fuse together they will make the zygote and then when the zygote is formed so a repeated division will take place in the zygote which will lead to the formation of the embryo and then the embryo will develop into a new individual, a new individual like its parent okay now if we talk about the frog which is an animal so its scientific name is Rana tigrina so if we talk about its body it, is, it shows the multicellular organization now this body it is made up of organ systems so if it is made up of organ systems so definitely these organ systems will be made up of organs and then the organs will be made up of tissues for example epithelial, glandular, muscular, nervous etc. So this was all about the multicellular organization which, are, which is found in the mustard plant and frog animal. I hope so that you understand. Thank you very much.